This is a video on how I cured my antibiotic-resistant C. difficile infection. C. difficile is a bacterial gut infection that can cause life-threatening diarrhea and can result in death. It can be picked up in hospitals or caused by the overuse of antibiotics. It's also rampant in nursing homes. Mine was antibiotic-resistant, so I went to the Taymount Clinic, which I've linked below, which specializes in FMT, fecal microbiota transplants. Generally, this has an incredibly high success rate, above 95% for a single transplant. What they do is take healthy donor stool, isolate the microbiome from it, think hundreds if not thousands of strains of healthy probiotics, and use an enema to implant it in the new patient's colon. FMT has been used to successfully treat autism, mental illness, autoimmune disorders, obesity, among other things. In the U.S., if you are diagnosed with antibiotic-resistant C. difficile, you can find a doctor to do a colonoscopy with FMT. I did the treatment in the Bahamas, which was 10 enemas for 10 days with three different donors' isolated microbiome. However, it didn't make a bit of difference. Months later, the C. difficile worsened enough for me to consider hospitalization. Fortunately, a doctor had reached out to me and told me about oral FMT. He was too worried about the kickback to publicize it online, but he did reach out. I got desperate and eventually did the research on it. I've linked the study below. I followed the outline in the study, and the following video shows how I cured my C. difficile. I did the first treatment in the evening, and it took until the next morning to get rid of my symptoms completely. I'm not kidding. The next morning. I could feel my gut feel better. It was incredible. My mother, who also had the same infection, was also cured by this treatment. After three days of this, I retested my microbiome and the Clostridium bacteria numbers were reduced by 10 times. It was still present, although many people have this bacteria present. It's an overgrowth that really poses the problem, and I was asymptomatic after this treatment. The reason the FMT enemas didn't work for me was because the C. diff infection was in my small intestine. In order to reach the small intestine, you have to take FMT orally. It won't work by colonoscopy or by enema. This has done wonders for my gut health, and I believe if you want to improve your microbiome, this is a great way to do that. People ask me if I've tried probiotics. To that I say, ha. If you do decide to try this, please be careful and get your isolated microbiome from a place that tests their donors. You don't want to be swallowing pathogens. The treatment was really scary to try, but I was really desperate. I was on the verge of hospitalization, like I said. I was getting fevers and was at the point where I couldn't even drink water without cramping and diarrhea. I haven't made this video for the last year because, well, I didn't want people bugging me about swallowing shit. However, this process did cure me, and it cured my mom, and it's cured people who have reached out to me asking for help, and people die from this bacterial infection, so I decided to put it up anyway. Doctors, if you're watching, please pay attention to this video and read the study linked below and tell your colleagues. It works almost immediately, and it's most likely much safer than FMT by colonoscopy and much more effective than using antibiotics to treat a pathogen that's been caused by antibiotics. Below, I've also linked to a few sources where you can potentially get healthy FMT to do this treatment. They'll ship it to you frozen, and to thaw it, you put the container containing the microbiome sample in lukewarm water for about an hour. The ingredients of what I used are just isolated bacteria, probiotics, and glycerol and saline water. Nothing that should cause a problem if the microbiome has been tested properly. I had severe autoimmune issues and I had no negative reaction to this, only positive. So here's the treatment taken from the study linked in the description. I hope this can help some people. Okay, you're going to need a straw, which you cut like so. You're going to need size zero capsules, size zero, zero capsules, and your tested fecal microbiota transplants. I have mine here. So what I do is I take the capsules, whatever size, this just makes it easier. Separate them, you can buy these pre-separated if you're really irritable. You don't want to separate all your capsules. Line them up like so. To 
take your larger ones, line them up like so. The idea here is to fill capsules and double encapsulate them so they can survive your stomach acid and hit your small intestine. So I set them up like that. Next, you very, very carefully open this. Okay, and then you put your straw in, plug the end. And very carefully fill up your capsule. Hopefully that was visible enough. According to the study, patients took 30 of these pills uh, each day for three days. Now you don't wanna fill all 30 because they will start dissolving and you don't want them to dissolve. So I find if you're speedy, you can do about five of these. Um, so if you're desperate and you're doing these yourself, I probably wouldn't tell wherever you're buying your samples from that you're taking them orally because honestly, because people just aren't in the know yet. They don't know that this is a good idea quite yet. So they're probably going to freak out about it. Um, so I would just try and get your samples and then usually they're sold for like enema use. Anyway, that's five. Then you take those five and make your next five. As always, I am not a doctor and my main following is on Instagram. So I'm more of an Instagram star than a doctor. However, this did eliminate my C. difficile and my mom's C. difficile. So I'm just putting this out there in case anyone else is desperate and you are always welcome to show this video to your doctor or try and find a doctor that's knowledgeable about um, FMT. And definitely if you need to be armed, go with them with this video and the study I linked below. Um, good luck.